Hey you guys, how's it going? Joey here, back with a new video. What I want to talk to you today about is really this proclivity that I have, this innate propensity I have, and perhaps I can strike a chord of similarity with you and we can build a bond over this, but I've noticed that I am drawn into the study specifically of relationships, that is like social psychology, that dyadic individual relating process, the intrapsychic domain, as well as the interpersonal domain, and then the extension outward, right? So for me, this relational sort of context and the way that those contexts can change and things like that are really the main areas of interest for me. In addition, the scientific uh, phenomena that we can study uh, within the brain and the body that are ultimately influenced by the social and emotional world. So it's really the interaction that interests me. And you know, it's so funny because I want to practice psychoanalytic psychotherapy, which in a big way is just a microcosm of that process and I you know I investigate I investigate investigate but but as I, I I start to understand the different neurotic strategies the different character structures the ways that those manifest themselves through different fantasies through different you know diagnostic criteria what I keep running into is this idea that the neurotic sort of process, the pulling in two different directions, is physiological, that it is body. It's mind and body. It's mind-body, as Jakob Painskip would typically call the mind. There is no mind. There's body-mind, mind-body. It's one thing. And so here I am wondering, how do I regulate those systems? How do I First of all, my own, but then build, sustain systems within healthcare. Primary care is really my dream. What if I could enter into primary care and bring the respect for individual differences, emotional patterns, developmental and personality uh, realities? What if we took the time to honor our human nature in medicine. What would that look like for me as a career? That's my interest. Mm -hmm. And I'm drawn to this. I wonder if this is archetypal. So I'm wondering, yeah, let me know. Can you relate to this? Social psychology, personality psychology, uh, really religion more generally seems to be the primary interest because these processes come back to these religious sort of systems and ideas that we, you know, we talk about within psychoanalysis, these different conceptualizations of the self and really the other and the principle of what is reality, right? You know, we have reality, we have the, the self, and here we are. You know, how do we make sense of these dynamics? Um, so, yeah, social psychology, social neuroscience. Goodness, this is... This is it for me. What am I getting from exploring these processes? What is it within me that lights up? What is it? What is it for? All I know is that I am committed to bringing that passion to healing relationships throughout my professional career. And if I can hold on to that, maybe a great amount of healing can occur. I wish you the best. Let me know if this resonated with you in any way like, subscribe, and I will see you in a new video soon.